Hello, we're here with Mr. Nazri. He's Minister of Tourism for Malaysia. Uh, can you tell us, so you've got some exciting things coming up in the next 12 months. Can you explain a bit about that? Yes, uh, as usual, <coughs> every year when we come to ITB, uh, we need to have uh, new products, uh, new plans and packages uh, to visit Malaysia in 2017. Of course now, uh, uh, Malaysia is part of ASEAN and ASEAN is celebrating its 50th anniversary. And because of that, all the uh, 10 countries in ASEAN, uh, we are organizing uh, packages, uh, visiting ASEAN. Not just visiting one uh, country, uh, but visiting two or three countries. And uh, because of this, we have a, a cooperation with Singapore Airlines, whereby if you come to uh, Malaysia, you fly direct to Singapore, you spend a few days in uh, Singapore, and after that, you proceed to go to the various parts of Malaysia, like the Borneo part of Malaysia, like the peninsula, and Singapore has direct flight from uh, Singapore to Penang, to Kuala Lumpur, to Kota Kinabalu, to uh, Kuching, uh, which are exciting places for tourists to come to. And uh, we also have uh, arrangement with Thailand, whereby uh, this year, uh, in conjunction with us, uh, ASEAN 15th anniversary, Malaysia uh, was awarded the right to have the Sea Games in Kuala Lumpur. The, it's called the Southeast Asia Games, Sea Games, uh, where all the 10 uh, nations of ASEAN will compete in uh, various sports uh, in Malaysia. So this again is another attraction for the Visit ASEAN Year, uh, 50th anniversary. And we are, we are going to have many uh, packages uh, for people to come not just to visit Thailand, but to come over to uh, Malaysia. So, uh, these are, and in, in order to facilitate uh, others to come to Malaysia, we have uh, announced recently uh, Indian uh, uh, tourists can come to uh, Malaysia now just by applying an e-visa. Uh, they only to pay 20 USD, and within 48 hours, they will get their uh, visa. They don't have to pay any uh, visa fee, and they get to come to Malaysia and stay for 15 days. We expect, uh, by making it easier for Indians to come to Malaysia, uh, we'll have to bring in one million Indian tourists to Malaysia in the year 2017. And also, we have uh, many new hotels in um, in uh, Malaysia, which uh, are making their first uh, uh, debut. Uh, we have uh, this hotel called the Alila Chain. Uh, they're going to be ready in, uh, uh, at the end of uh, 2017. And uh, we have the Banyan Tree uh, also in Kuala Lumpur uh, and uh, situated in a, a very exciting uh, place in Kuala Lumpur. So these are some of the hotels that uh, will be ready uh, to receive uh, tourists from all over the world uh, in, in 2017. And of course, uh, on the Genting Highland, uh, we have the uh, Fox uh, theme park, the first uh, outside of uh, uh, US and the first in Asia. So it will be ready by uh, the third quarter of 2017. Again, this is uh, an exciting uh, moment for us uh, because we have all this uh, ready to accept uh, to this model world to come and visit Malaysia with new products. And as you, as we all know, the UNWTO has announced that 2017 is the year of uh, eco tourism for sustainable uh, tourism development. Uh, as such, Malaysia has been a country rich in ecotourism and uh, this year we are promoting uh, the Borneo states, Sabah and Sarawak uh, for ecotourism, uh, diversity in uh, the flora and fauna, wildlife, so it will be an exciting time for us and we have homestays where uh, tourists will get to experience 
to stay not in a big uh, five-star chain hotel, but staying homestay, well kept, uh, recommended by the Ministry of Tourism and Culture, uh, uh, guaranteed its quality and, uh, uh, and security, and this is in line with the UNWTO recognizing 2017 as a year of uh, ecotourism for sustainable development. So we hope that uh, with all these uh, exciting events lined up, yeah. uh, that uh, you will come to Malaysia yeah. uh, for this year, 2017. Uh, and what can you tell us about your initiative with the islands? Because you've got uh, a special initiative. Yes, to... um, you know, uh, Langkawi is one of the <coughs> Uh, places known uh, to tourists all over the world and we are now uh, uh, in the process of uh, making a decision by the state government to allow for uh, any investors uh, to come to Malaysia and invest in one of the 99 islands in uh, Malaysia in the same uh, pattern as in Maldives. In Maldives, you know, we all know that uh, every atoll has been uh, given to uh, investors to invest in the hotels and they have exclusive use of the island, of the atoll. So we, we're going to do the same for uh, uh, Langkawi, whereby we invite investors to come and they will invest in Malaysia and get a 99-year lease of the use of the land uh, on the island. So, and also, uh, the, the government has uh, passed, uh, the government has made a decision, a policy decision whereby uh, foreign investors investing in Malaysia can own 100% equity. So, this is again another uh, incentive for foreign investors to come to Malaysia. And we hope that investors will take up our offer to lease uh, one of the 99 islands for the use of. Uh, uh, hospitality. Yeah, sounds exciting. Very exciting. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank Thanks. Bye-bye.